Hello Aries, this is your reading for the 15th through the remainder of the month, through the 31st of July. Look at that. We have, oh, okay, that car slipping over here. We're going to do a Celtic cross, but what has jumped out is a King of Pentacles and the sun here. Okay, so this is either uh, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn individual, or you're feeling on top of your game right now. Very in control of your life. Okay, feeling happy. Feeling happy right now. Feeling content. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see this Celtic cross. What's going on around my Aries friends? Aries. Hmm, the tower in reverse. My cars are upright. Um, I feel like what's going on around you is either you or someone else is wanting to fix things, try to fix things, um, and trying not to keep shit from just completely falling to pieces here. Very scorpionic energy, Mars energy. Okay. Let's see what's crossing you. The Empress. Mm. You know, I'm feeling like there's something that happened before. There was an ending. And I feel like you guys are looking you're kind of reflecting on the past, but you are going forward. There was some shit that happened to you that you just could not help. But I feel like right now you guys are seeing things clearly and you're, you've kind of taken what you've learned and you're moving forward with that information, starting over, um, growing, growing your finances, growing from your life experiences, okay? What's the underlying issue here for my Aries? Five of Cups. Somebody's having regrets. This is Scorpio energy. But the thing is, I don't think this is you. I think this is somebody else. I feel Scorpio. Or somebody that's feeling, that's reflecting on um, things that have happened before, but feeling bad about it feeling sorrowful, feeling like there has been a missed opportunity with you guys. Want to offer once again. Let's see what's going on in the recent past. Healing. You guys, it's like you have this new found way of looking at things. But um, I feel like this is mostly you just not overextending yourself, having this love for yourself and moving forward. Mm -hmm. Somebody sees you moving forward. Somebody sees you moving on um, and having regrets surrounding what happened between the two of you, wanting to fix things here want to fix things with you. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. That Those cards wanted to flip over, so I'm going to take a look at them. There's three of them, actually. We have Judgment, Making a Final Decision. And we have the Five of Swords and the Star Energy. Somebody's fighting something here or wanting to. I feel like somebody feels like they've lost a hold of you and they're wanting to change your mind about something but I see you guys um, there there's something that you have made up your mind about. You've made up your mind about this. Somebody realizes who you are now and wants to fight for you. They realize that you are the one for them. 
that's what they believe okay let's see what's coming in for you page of swords I, I believe they're going to speak on this um the only thing is you know i'm seeing that this person is having a lot of regrets um they probably didn't treat you as well as they should have when they had you they want to fix things they want you to think about not leaving think about revisiting um working on whatever it was that you guys had before changing your mind about something i see this but the thing is i feel them coming in as a page so when they come in keep this in mind they're not going to present themselves like they are needy and i'm not sure if they are needy but i'm definitely getting the sense that when they come in they are going to kind of act what's the word not like they're not as anxious as I see that they are this person's anxious they're wanting to fight for you they're wanting to fight for this connection with you but they're gonna come in calm cool collected um, maybe kind of matter-of-fact uh, you may not even get the sense that this person has missed you as much as I can see that they do okay Aquarius energy is present as well Let's see how you're viewing this situation. The Nine of Cups. Right now, you're concerned with how, um, what makes you happy. This is a nine. This is a single energy. Um, it, it's all about you. No one else. Your wishes being fulfilled, and not necessarily in a relationship. Um, doing what's best for you doing what's best for you and I don't know if you're willing to take this person back or will be willing to take this person back <clears throat> see what the influence is here the high priestess there's something that um, you're following your heart there also has been very little if any communication between you and this person I feel like there's been a lot of secrets there's a lot that you still don't know you don't know why what happened happened there's a lot of things that's unclear for you but right now you're following your heart you're doing what's best for you okay and not going back I see you reflecting um, taking the things that you've learned and moving forward but I don't necessarily see you taking a step backwards okay I feel like this person wants to come in and tell you some truth I really do um, but again I don't know if you're, you're willing to hear it Let's see. We have Piscean energy here. <clears throat> Your hopes or fears. The Queen of Swords. Excuse me. Mm. I feel like your hope would be to think very logically in this situation. Um, to continue to think logically in this situation, not wear your heart on your sleeve, and basically not fall for bullshit ever again, including with this person. Okay. What is the overall? What is the overall outcome for Aries? King of Wands. Hmm. This could be another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, individual, somebody that um, is attractive, somebody that you're attracted to, they're attracted to you, but this is somebody I feel like has been afraid of commitment before. They've been afraid, they weren't as open with you. But now they wish they could change some things that happen um, between the two of you. They now see you for who you really are and what you meant to them. And they're wanting to change your mind about them. They're wanting you to change your mind about them. I feel like this person definitely will act. 
they definitely will act. I feel like that, you know, you'll have the confidence and the control to make um, the decision that's right for you in this situation, okay? So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.